Semiconductors are everywhere. They're in your pocket, car, and home. These tiny chips are the brains of our digital world. Without them, our modern life would grind to a halt. Smartphones, computers, cars, and even refrigerators rely on these microscopic marvels. But what exactly are semiconductors? They're materials that conduct electricity under some conditions. Silicon is the most common semiconductor. It's abundant and easy to work with. Engineers can manipulate silicon to create complex circuits. These circuits form the basis of all our electronic devices. The importance of semiconductors goes beyond consumer gadgets. They're crucial for national security. Military equipment relies heavily on advanced chips. Satellites, missile systems, and communication networks all need semiconductors. The semiconductor industry is also a major economic driver. It's worth hundreds of billions of dollars. Nations are now vying for dominance in this crucial sector. Semiconductors are a focal point of global politics. Countries controlling production hold immense power. They influence supply chains and technology. This leads to intense competition. Today, export controls are in place. The U.S. restricts advanced chip exports to China. Manufacturing is concentrated in few places. Taiwan, South Korea, and the U.S. are key players. COVID-19 highlighted vulnerabilities. Chip shortages halted car production. Taiwan is the epicenter of the semiconductor world. This small island produces most of the world's advanced chips. It's home to Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC. TSMC is the world's largest contract chip maker. It makes chips for companies like Apple, Nvidia, and Qualcomm. Taiwan's dominance in this field is often called its Silicon Shield. Taiwan has spent decades building up its semiconductor industry. It has invested heavily in research and development. It has also cultivated a highly skilled workforce. Taiwan's semiconductor prowess gives it global influence. Many countries depend on Taiwan for their chip supply. This includes both the United States and China. Some argue that this dependence helps protect Taiwan. However, this Silicon Shield theory is controversial. Despite challenges, Taiwan remains the world's semiconductor powerhouse. TSMC is not just a company, it's a technological marvel. Founded in 1987, it has become the world's most valuable semiconductor company. TSMC specializes in making chips designed by other companies. This business model is called Foundry. It allows companies to design chips without the massive cost of building factories. TSMC is currently producing three nanometer chips. These are the most sophisticated semiconductors in the world. They're smaller, faster, and more energy efficient than previous generations. This technology is crucial for next generation devices and AI applications. TSMC's dominance is staggering. It makes over 90% of the world's most advanced chips. Tech giants like Apple rely on TSMC for their latest products. Even Intel, once the leader in chip manufacturing, now uses TSMC's services. TSMC's success is closely tied to Taiwan's geopolitical situation. Any disruption to TSMC's operations could have global consequences. Section 5. Cross-Strait Tensions – China's Taiwan Ambitions The relationship between China and Taiwan is complex. China claims Taiwan as its territory. Taiwan sees itself as an independent nation. This disagreement has existed since 1949. The semiconductor industry adds another layer to this conflict. China has made no secret of its desire to reunify with Taiwan. It has not ruled out the use of force to achieve this goal. China regularly conducts military exercises near Taiwan. These actions are seen as intimidation tactics. They raise fears of a potential invasion. 
The United States plays a crucial role in this dynamic. It has a policy of strategic ambiguity towards Taiwan. The U.S. provides Taiwan with defensive weapons. The semiconductor industry complicates these tensions. Taiwan's chip-making prowess is a key factor in its relationship with both China and the U.S. Some argue that this gives Taiwan leverage. Others worry it makes Taiwan a target. Yums I swamp these. Section 6. China's Silicon Dreams. The Quest for Semiconductor Supremacy. China has big ambitions in the semiconductor industry. It wants to become self-sufficient in chip production. This goal is part of China's broader push for technological independence. The Chinese government has invested billions in its domestic semiconductor industry. It sees this as crucial for economic and national security. China is the world's largest consumer of chips, but it can't make the most advanced chips itself. This reliance on foreign suppliers is seen as a strategic weakness. Chinese leaders worry that the U.S. could cut off China's access to advanced chips. This fear has accelerated China's efforts to develop its own semiconductor industry. China has made progress in some areas of chip manufacturing. It can now produce some less advanced chips domestically, but it still lags behind in the most cutting-edge technology. The gap between China and leaders like TSMC remains significant. Despite these challenges, China remains committed to its goal of semiconductor self-reliance. Chinese companies are making progress in some areas. Section 7. U.S.-China Tech Rivalry The Battle for Chip Dominance The semiconductor industry is at the heart of the U.S.-China Tech Rivalry. Both countries see dominance in this field as crucial. It's about technological leadership and national security. This rivalry has intensified in recent years. The U.S. has long been a leader in semiconductor design. Companies like Intel, NVIDIA, and AMD are at the forefront of chip innovation. But the U.S. has lost ground in manufacturing. Many American companies now rely on Asian foundries like TSMC. This has raised concerns about supply chain vulnerabilities. China, on the other hand, is playing catch-up. It's investing heavily to close the gap with the U.S. and its allies. China's goal is to reduce its dependence on foreign semiconductors. It also wants to become a major player in the global chip industry. The U.S. has responded with various measures. It has imposed export controls on advanced chip technology to China. This tech rivalry shows no signs of cooling down. Section 8. America's Chip Strategy, the Chips Act and Beyond. The U.S. government has recognized the strategic importance of semiconductors. In 2022, it passed the Chips and Science Act. This law provides $52 billion in subsidies for domestic semiconductor manufacturing. The goal is to boost U.S. competitiveness in this crucial industry. The CHIPS Act represents a shift in U.S. industrial policy. Now, it's taking a more active role in supporting key industries. The semiconductor industry is seen as too important to leave entirely to market forces. The CHIPS Act isn't just about manufacturing. It also supports research and development. The law provides funding for advanced semiconductor research. This includes areas like quantum computing and artificial intelligence. The aim is to ensure U.S. leadership in next-generation technologies. Building new semiconductor fabs is expensive and time-consuming. It also requires a skilled workforce. Despite these challenges, the CHIPS Act represents a major step in U.S. semiconductor policy. Section 9. China's Semiconductor Challenges – Hurdles on the Road to Self-Reliance China's path to semiconductor self-reliance is not smooth. The country faces significant challenges. One major hurdle is access to advanced chip-making equipment. Much of this equipment comes from United States companies or United States allies. 
export controls have made it harder for China to obtain this technology. Another challenge is the complexity of semiconductor manufacturing. Making advanced chips requires incredible precision. It also needs a vast ecosystem of suppliers and expertise. China is still developing this ecosystem. China has also faced setbacks in its semiconductor efforts. Some high-profile projects have failed to deliver. Despite these challenges, China remains committed to its semiconductor goals. Chinese companies are making progress in some areas. Section 10. Global Ripple Effects, Economic and Technological Implications The semiconductor rivalry has global implications. It affects economies worldwide. Many industries depend on a steady supply of chips. Any disruption can have far-reaching consequences. We saw this during the recent chip shortage. Car production slowed. Consumer electronics became scarce. The economic impact was significant. The rivalry also affects technological progress. Semiconductors are crucial for emerging technologies. These include artificial intelligence, 5G networks, and quantum computing. The country that leads in semiconductors may also lead in these fields. This could shape the future of technology and the global balance of power. The semiconductor rivalry is reshaping global supply chains. Companies are rethinking where they source their chips. These changes could alter global trade patterns. Section 11. The Need for Cooperation Balancing Competition and Collaboration Despite the intense rivalry, there's a growing recognition of the need for cooperation. The semiconductor industry is highly globalized. No single country can do everything alone. Even the United States and China depend on each other in various ways. Finding a balance between competition and collaboration is crucial. One area where cooperation is needed is in setting standards. The semiconductor industry relies on common standards. These ensure that chips from different manufacturers can work together. International cooperation is essential for developing these standards. Another area for potential cooperation is research. Many semiconductor advances come from basic research. Sharing knowledge can accelerate progress. Section 12. Semiconductors, the new oil of the 21st century. Semiconductors have become the lifeblood of the modern world. They're as crucial today as oil was in the 20th century. Control over semiconductor technology means control over the future. This is why the industry has become a geopolitical battleground. The stakes in this battle are enormous. It's not just about economic benefits. It's about technological leadership, national security, and global influence. The country that leads in semiconductors will have a significant advantage in shaping the future. Understanding these dynamics is key to grasping modern geopolitics. Looking ahead, the importance of semiconductors will only grow. The geopolitical competition over semiconductors is likely to intensify.